we're going to talk about pre-voicing. When, when the hammers come from the factory, they, uh, they, need, they need a little bit of work. Let's see if we can see an example. It's pretty slight, but you can kind of see it, that shape when those hammers are all cut at the factory. It releases tension and then it causes that felt to be, you see it? Okay, it's pretty slight. Yeah, that's good. They also just need some, need a little bit of voicing just to, um, get the tone to where we want it. It's a more pleasing tone when you, when you do the pre-voicing. It's worth it. the hammers in there pretty well. Okay, so to remove that shape, go right over the top. And then uh, for the needling, we'll do four, four or five stitches. So we're going to go that direction. This is, these needles are particularly long. Do we have one that, that has the adjustable length, especially when we get up here to the top? So we're going to start here. We're going to avoid this triangle right there, from there to there. You can do very shallow needling later on when the piano is, is all, uh, when the hammers are all installed in the piano. But, uh, but for now, for this just kind of rough voicing, I'll start here. Okay. How does that make the the sound better? It, it can be harsh without this. So this is kind of there's a few ways that you can needle or that you can voice. You can use uh, fabric softener. Actually, you can use these, uh, you, can, you can use sanding. So the, the finer the grit, the tighter the weave, the tighter the, the final product of the felt, which what does tighter do to the tone? Brightens it. Brightens it, yeah. So if you go all the way from say, maybe 220 and then you do a bunch of different grits all the way up to 500 or 800 or 1000 it's going to be a little bit brighter this is going to 
darken the tone a little bit or, or warm it up a little bit. You can use uh, chemicals. So fabric softener will soften things, which will make it darker. Steam is a really good one. Steam is very effective and it, it is basically permanent as far as I can tell. So steam is uh, basically a, a, a rag, wring it out so that it's just kind of damp and then you can just put it right, right about right there and then put an iron on it and it just steams, steams the, the hammers. Shouldn't do it for too long before checking it. So you don't want to do that outside of the, or without the hammers installed, you want to do that and then check it immediately and see what kind of effect the steam is having. Some pianos, the steam just, if you just kind of touch it with the, with the iron, psh, 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 that's plenty. And some, some hammers that doesn't do anything. And so you have to hold it there for a few seconds. And it's the same thing. You want to kind of aim for the shoulders. So that's a good good way to, to bring it down. At least at least that does a good job. Sort of uh, um, um, getting the whole thing down, but you'll still have some you'll still have some that, that needs some some needling to br to even it out because you want things to be consistent. You can use so if you want to if you want to brighten it. You can use uh, acetone with a number of things melted in it. So you can actually use uh, scraps of, where's Corbin? Mm -hmm. Key tops. Yep. So you can use old, old just pieces of uh, key tops and it takes a couple days. You can put it in the acetone and it melts mm -hmm. in the acetone and then you shake it up and you've got this um, solution that you can it, you can put in the felt and the acetone flashes off and it leaves behind little tiny like microscopic particles of plastic inside the felt and so that hardens it up and makes it brighter but there again you know avoid avoid this area if you're well don't use super glue. <laughs> it works, but don't use it. So the holes are releasing tension? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, releasing tension. And then the sound brighter? It's warmer, richer. So there's a number of things that we're looking for. We're looking for, um, it's called a bloom. We're, we're looking for different, um, kind of a different sound. If you, a good way to think of it is if you, if you divide your, your how hard you hit the key into 10, it should kind of brighten up as you, as you go through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and it should brighten up as you go. Mm -hmm. So that's a, a good test. And if it doesn't brighten, then it's too, uh, too soft. And if it's right, too soft. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. That's exactly right. Okay. So that's so that's pre-voicing. Just really the, those two steps.